Well, all right, everybody, welcome to the video. And today we're checking out the season one trailer for Call of Duty and updating ourselves with the roadmap and what's to come in season one of Modern Warfare 3. So let's dive in with this trailer, or maybe a couple trailers, unless it's just the first trailer that I'm going to put. And then we're going to check out the rest of the updates that are incoming for, and also weapons and what new things, equipment, maps, and all that stuff, right? And yeah, that's it, guys. So let's get to it. Oh snap, we got more blueprints coming. Come to new maps, okay. Greece, 66. Oh, training facility. Oh, a 2v2. Gunfight, baby. It's coming back. Okay, this is later in the season. Probably like mid reloaded. Season reloaded. Meat. Oh boy. on map guys Let's go. Ooh, dark ether rifts okay oh it's about to get crazy in zombies So here's a brand new map, guys, that's coming tomorrow. Called the War Zone. Rizikstan. Okay. A lot of people said there's a lot of it feels a lot of vibes. You can feel the vibes of Redots and this one a little bit here and there. So some locations, you know. So we'll see. Like that, especially that wow, that background for that building. Welcome to Urzikstan. Okay. Ooh, payload. Okay. What the? Oh my god. <laughs> what the? Damn. Alright, relax there. Oh my god. <laughs> That is true. Everything's for free. Warzone is free. I think that was the boy Alex. Oh, he's gone. Whoa. Oh yeah, there's zip lines too on this map as well. Oh, the OG team. We got Soap, Price, Gaz. And of course, Ghost. Nice. Very cool, guys. That is the Season 1 trailer for Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone, of course, with the new map trailer as well for Urzikstan that's taking over and replacing Al Mazra for Warzone in general for multiple modes, whether if it's solos, duos, trios, and quads, and also Plunder that we saw uh, during the little cutscene there, a little video that we saw, a little trailer. Um, but guys, there is a whole slew of content here for Season 1, or at least multiplayer, and just in general, Season 1 for Modern Warfare 3, which I'm very excited about, and also the Black Cell and the weapons and all that stuff. So, of course, when the season drops, we'll check all that out in a separate video. But for right now, we're checking out the roadmap and what's to come later in the season, and also what's dropping tomorrow, Day 1.
So we have Call of Duty Warzone. We have a new map, of course, Urzikstan. We have features of a drivable train, so you can drive the train. We have the horizontal zip lines, which we saw in the trailer as well. We have the big game bounty contract, okay? The quality of life updates. We have the flyby public event. And lastly is in season, which will come out maybe like season reloaded and whatnot. The champion's quest, which I know a lot of people loved that part of the Warzone side. Uh, returning maps, we have Ashika Island and Vondel returning back again. Of course, I love Vondel. Vondel is fun. And also Ashika Island is coming back as well. But we have a new gulag here. I think it's more to the classic side of the gulag from way back in Verdansk. And we have some modes of the Battle Royale, Plunder, and Resurgence. Moving forward, guys, we have weapons, operators, and more incoming. So we have new weapons in the Battle Pass. We have the XRK Stalker. We have the Ram 7, which we haven't seen since Modern Warfare 2019. And we have the Stormender which I don't know what type of weapon that is, but we can check it out down below in the details. We'll see what they say. But those three weapons will be in the Battle Pass. And later, we have two more weapons, but these most likely will be unlockable through challenges. And of course, it's all free. All this content is free, guys. New weapons. In Season, we have the HRM9, and we have the Tech Evolver. And right beside the weapons, we have Operators section, which, of course, in the Battle Pass, will have Nolan and Dukakabi which both will be in the battle pass and have different outfits. But lastly, guys, is the Black Soul, of course. Their biggest thing that they've been, they've been pushing for, I think, since 20, Modern Warfare 2, is the Abolisher, which looks pretty cool and it has that old medic look to it. At least to me, it looks like it. I mean, of course, it has, it's rocking the black and gold and red this time around. Like, you can see a lot of red, especially on the eyes. So that's cool, of course, since Modern Warfare 3 is all about red. So a lot of red everywhere, as you can see. So that's pretty great. Uh, next up, right beside that one, though, is Santa's Playground, which I'm kind of curious about and kind of excited to see because we have a holiday event because it's, you know, Christmas time. It's the season is here. Holiday event with themed maps and modes. Um, I'm hoping Santa's Playground, I guess, most likely will be a skin. I'm, I'm going to just assume but I do want something like Krampus again, that we saw, like a little crazy fun time, especially with the little uh, elves, I think, the laughing elves and whatnot, right? But the, now to the right side, we have a bunch of different uh, bundles that are coming in. We have Dune Part 2, which is in season. So a lot of this will be in season or most likely season reloaded. So we have Dune Part 2, which has Paul. We have another in season, which has Fade. And we have another in-season one, which is this Trial of Power in Modern Warfare 3 event. So maybe that'll be part of maybe Warzone, perhaps? Or maybe multiplayer where we can unlock certain things or complete challenges and unlock certain different uh, calling cards and stickers and whatnot. But guys, it's not just that. We have the boys also in season. A train is here. We have a classified one, which I think they already revealed, which is a new character that's going to be coming to the new season of the boys. And another one is the souped up Modern Warfare 3 LTM, which 100% most likely will be similar to what we saw in Modern Warfare 2 Warzone with the souped up abilities. And lastly, guys, is the Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer side of things, which I'm more excited about. We have new maps. We have Meat. We have Grease. Both will be launching day one. Then later, most likely in the season Reloaded, we'll get Rio, uh, which is another brand new map, a 6v6 map. But it's not just that, guys. We have Gunfight returning. We have 2v2 map here that's going to be added training facility we have new kill streaks which is crazy we have the emp and the swarm holy hold up guys the swarm is coming back that is insane so the swarm is returning from black ops 2 which is insane i love it uh the emp i think we saw that in the trailer so i don't know why the emp wasn't in Modern warfare 3 or isn't in Modern warfare 3 at launch but that's okay AMP is coming back. That's an OG from Modern Warfare 2 and 3 for sure. But the Swarm is insane, and I can't wait to use a Swarm. But, guys, we have Ranked Play coming later in the season as well. And we have some modes here, which I'm hoping are pretty good. Let's see. We have Gunfight. All or Nothing, which is a fun mode, a party mode. Gunfight is a 2v2 mode. We know that one. Headquarters. Okay, Headquarters is incoming. We have also Infected later in the season. And Team Gunfight later in the season. All right, good stuff. 
We also have the zombie section really quick that we can talk about here, or at least the last section is a zombie section. But we have the Vortex coming later in season, Satan's Quarry. We have in season the Tetanus area, I guess. It could be different areas. And in season is the Spore Yard. I guess these are new areas or just different areas that will be popping up and changing on the map. Then we also have, of course, different, uh, I guess, additions to the zombies experience. We have a new weapon, we have new schematics, we have a new story mission, the Dark Ether Rifts, prestige challenges, of course, with new prestiges coming in, new Warlord, we have the VR-11 Wonder Weapon, like I was saying, new weapon, and I don't know if it's going to be the one exactly from Call of the Dead, I believe it was, that's where we first saw it, and the last time we saw the VR-11, unless it's like a different version of the VR-11, but nonetheless, guys, all of this is coming in Season 1 for Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone. And now we're going to talk about modes here, but All or Nothing is coming at launch. And we kind of know this mode already. We've seen it, I think, in Modern Warfare 2. I don't know if it was in Modern Warfare 2019, but 100% for sure in Modern Warfare 2. And of course, when it first came out way back in Modern Warfare 3, the OG Modern Warfare 3 in 2011, it was there and I loved it. And it's still a fun mode. And you just run around with the knife, throwing knives. And if you get it one kill after one kill, I think two kills, one kill, you get scavenger and you can get a second kill. When you get to, once you get the second kill, you get to, you get you pick up ammo and then you can shoot people down. But normally people like to do that and camp it out. But uh, or you just run around and just throw kill everybody if you're really good at throwing knives. But that's the game mode that's coming in. And we also have more at season. Though this one, I thought it was gonna be something new or different added to the map but no apparently it's a ltm guys we have vortex which is an ltm coming out mid-season so this is different in this free-for-all mode one player spawns in with the infamous zombies wonder weapon the one-shot ray gun what whoever eliminates the operator with the ray gun becomes the new owner of this powerful and otherworldly pistol vortex takes place on three remixed multiplayer maps satan's quarry spore yard and tetanus of course satan's quarry i believe is you know quarry i think spore yard a scrap yard and tetanus i have no idea <laughs> but uh yeah that is crazy that is pretty cool as that's interesting we have codmus santa's playground let's see what this is we have seasons eaton's santa's Nas, santa Nas. So not Santa Claus, but Santa Nas, is here to spread horror and fear. Complete event challenges to rewards and visit classic holiday themed maps, including Shipmas and Hangover. Wow. We're getting a lot of themed maps this season, or this new season. Just try not to get bitten. Expect more inf information on this event and additional LTM modes closer to mid-season. Okay. Team Gunfight. So this one is a 6v6 version of Gunfight, which we've kind of seen before. I believe it was in cold war i forgot the name they what they called it in cold war but it was basically yeah 6v6 or 3v3s but in this case it's 6v6 version of gunfight play on standard multiplayer maps okay players all receive the same randomized loadout and start of each round wow there's a lot of changes throughout this each time wait throughout the match the team that best adapts okay hmm so is this basically regular gunfight but in a bigger platform in this case like the multiplayer maps and it's 6v6 huh very interesting if it is like that and after like 40 seconds or however many seconds the flag spawns and you have to fight for it i it might be interesting this might be very very interesting okay we have new going to the zombie side of things we have the new wonder weapon i wanted to talk about here if it's the exact same thing so let's see the vr11 is coming back guys being here at launch season one brings the new vr11 weapon Wonder Weapon, turn enemies into allies with a powerful VR-11, shoot zombies and transform them into humans, oh, or blast humans to mutate them into friendly zombies, what the hell, that is sick, as you might expect, transformed humans join you in the fight, drawing the attention of nearby zombies, while transformed zombies will commence their ceaseless hunt for your enemy f enemy's flesh. Very interesting. We have new classified schematics here with a wonder weapon. Okay, we saw this already. The Ether Blade. Uh, we have the Warlord. We have the Rift Front. The schematic Dog Bone. Schematic Golden Armor Plate. And the wonder weapon, the VR-11. All right, so each thing does like something new. So let's let's look at each one. Dog Bone. is consume the Dog Bone to summon the strongest friendly Hellhound. What? That is pretty cool. You have to find the schematic though. But after you, after you find it, this is going to be crazy. 
The pet the the pet hellhound will follow you and attack nearby threats until its health runs out. That is really cool. Golden armor plates, okay. Cons consuming the new golden armor plate replaces the armor carrier with plates that automatically repair over time. Oh, that's pretty cool. In addition to providing the user additional damage resistance, nice. The ether blade, ether blade is special is a special throwing knife with an infinite am ammo and a boomerang like combat style. Oh, so is it kind of like the tomahawk? Hmm. After striking an enemy, the ether blade locates the next nearest enemy to hit before. We okay, guys, that. Is <sighs> It's kind of like the Tomahawk from Black Ops 2, or Black, yeah, Black Ops 2, right? Uh, yeah, kind of, kind of like it, I, I gotta say, and also Black Ops 4, because I think the Tomahawk was in Black Ops 4 as well. Uh, the Warlord, okay, let's see this one. What's so special about hope, hopping, hoping, sorry, to counter operations that boasts techno tech technological advantage in the exclusion zone. Jack Fletcher, the leader of the Terminus Outcomes, will deploy another of his lieutenants to the battle space in coming weeks. Oh, okay. The, the Kakabi will bring with her an intimate understanding of electronic warfare and fleet and self-program. Okay. Autonomous drones ready to wreck carnage on Operation Deadbolt's operatives from the skies. So she's like a boss? A mini boss? Is that what's happening here? Interesting. Very, very interesting. The final thing to talk about here, ladies and gentlemen, is the, of course, Battle Pass. But we're not going to check this too much because we're going to end it here. Because once the new season starts, we'll, we'll cover, we'll make a separate video covering all the tiers and the rewards coming into Season 1 of Modern Warfare 3. But here's a layout, or here's the layout for different sectors, or sectors, sorry, of the Battle Pass. And of course, we have the Black Cell stuff and different skins for the guns and operator skins and the different variations of operator skins whether it's the regular one that you unlock through the battle pass or the very the different variation of the black cell one as well so we'll cover all everybody that's going to be for you if you guys enjoyed please like but guys i like as always appreciate it. thank you guys for watching thank you guys for checking this out and stay tuned for the new season that's dropping very very soon guys we'll cover all the new updates here and gameplay of the new maps and everything that's coming for this new season so stay tuned for more guys but yeah that's it guys take care stay amazing and i'll see y'all with the next one